Hello everybody, how's it going? Screezilla here and I hope you're all well. And you join me today for a quick talk, really, about an item that you'll see on many British tanks. Now, this feature is most prominent on the uh, sort of Chieftain, Centurion, even the Challenger. Um, sort of, as you get down to sort of the, the, the late World War II, post World War II tanks, although this system was used pretty much on all World War II tanks for the British. And what I'm talking about is a little tiny circular wheel on the back of the turret. Now you can see there, there's a wheel on the back of the turret. Now you may be wondering what that wheel is for. Now if we can actually get a closer look right here, there's canvas around it and inside the canvas is a cable. Now what you would do with this, this cable is when all your tanks were lined up in a nice line together is you would take the cable out of its housing and you can see there's an actual loop point beside it. You would put it through there and then generally there would usually be a bit of a mast so you'd, you'd sort of put it up a little bit higher and then what you would do is run that cable to the next tank along and then plug the cable into that next tank. Yes this was a wired intercom system and it is very popular with the British tankers and it, it's very was very useful for the British tankers as well because one of the biggest issues with a radio and you can sort of see the, black, the sort of big box in the back there, the radio system, is it can be intercepted. Uh, if you get the right channel, you can hear what your enemy's doing, and you give away all the information. Whereas a wired intercom system, unless you get a very ballsy German coming up, and, you know, putting an actual wiretap on the wire itself, you're generally not going to get your messages sort of stolen. So it was a very very useful system. Now inside the actual tank there would actually be a little telephone in there and your crew would just, just sort of uh, your commander would talk to fellow commanders and you'd be able to talk to each other and communicate through a wired line. The other good thing about this is because it was wired it meant that you didn't have to worry about sort of interference and things like that so you got a much crisper clearer line for it so it was just a much better system basically now this was of course not used on the move or anything like that and many cables got snapped when tanks had to quickly maneuver and things like that but this was generally there just for when you were in your sort of um say you were up in a up in the hills somewhere and you were sitting there on guard duty for a couple of days or you were back at camp or something like that it wasn't meant to be used in the field in fighting of course because it would get rather sort of tangled up as the turret started moving around things like that it could start causing problems but just as a general day-to-day -day purpose thing it was a very handy tool so that ladies and gentlemen is why you will see that little loop with a canvas strap across it on the majority of British tanks. Hope you've enjoyed this quickie. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have, just let me know in the comments below. You can always head to the Discord if you like, and I'm always happy to answer any historical questions you have. Anyway, that's all for today. Hope you've enjoyed this. Have a good day. Bye-bye.